Amina. Echi tu choka chokiriza. Echo mukama chakora chi. Chakora. The Lord does what you, 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 you believe. The Lord cannot do something you do not believe. The Lord only does that thing that you believe. Hallelujah. If you have faith that this thing will happen, then the Lord will do it. But if you do not have faith that this thing will happen, then the Lord will not do it. Hallelujah. Now, when we, when we talk about faith, what is faith? Faith is a substance of things hoped for. Some faith is a substance. It is something touchable of things hoped for. You see? And it's the one, it's in faith in the, in, the, in, the, in the divine explanation, in the spiritual explanation. Faith, it is the, the, the accelerated power. It is a force. It is the invisible power in action. You see? It is power in motion. It is power in action. But this power, it is invisible. This power is untouchable. It is intangible, intangible. When I talk about being intangible, it's the power that you cannot see with the eyes. It's the power you cannot touch by your hands. It is intangible. But it is there. It is accelerated. It is in action. It is flowing. It is working. It's divine power. It's the key to everything. Faith. It is the, uh, it is the divine intangible power in action. Praise the Lord. Faith. It's a key to a born again. To move out of every type of prison. To move out of every type of bondage. Every type of weakness. F faith. If you have faith, nothing can fail in your life. Actually, when you read the book of Mark chapter 11 verse 23 says, that if you have just a little faith, if you have small faith, you just little faith, small faith, and with that faith, you believe, you pray, and you believe that if I command this mountain to move from here to there, it will go. Immediately, as you command, as you pray, using that faith, the mountain will move from where it is and it will go where you command to go. And the Bible says that if you have faith, just a little faith, you can command, you can command the tree by your word. You see? You command the tree by your word, the tree to be uprooted with all its roots. It will come out from the ground. The tree will come out by your word, which is accelerated by faith, accelerated by the intangible power, the force in action. That, that power will uproot the tree with all its roots. It will move from where you don't want it, and it will go where you command it. Praise the Lord. Faith, it is a key to all the believers, to move from all sorts of problems. Faith, it's the key for a believer to move all, from all sorts of slavery, sorts of pain, sorts of weaknesses, sorts of suffering, sorts of faith that moves you there. By the way, let me tell you this. The heaven doesn't listen to tears. The heaven looks at the faith. You may cry and cry and cry. And if you don't put faith in action, tears will do nothing for your life. Praise the Lord. 
Now the Bible says that all the heroes in the Bible, they made it by faith. All the hero people in the Bible, they made it by force, the, 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 uh, the intangible power. By this force called faith. Now today, this is what I declare, I declare into your spirit. You need this force. You need this power to be in action. You need this spirit of faith in your life. Because let me tell you one thing. If you have a disease and you do not have faith, your disease will not be healed. You have pain. You have sickness. But you do not have faith. Your sicknesses, your pain will not go. You have debts, but you don't have faith. That's what I mean. It's only faith which uproots the diseases out of your flesh. It's only faith that uproots all sicknesses out of your flesh. It's only faith that uproots sickle cells. It uproots AIDS. It uproots Every arthritis, uh, uh, it uproots headache, stomach ache, it uproots even malaria, it uproots AIDS, HIV, it uproots every sort of virus, bacteria, out of the flesh. If you have faith, the Bible says every, every nature, every kind of nature, every kind of creature, every kind of created thing, every dominion. Every nation, they bow down to you. Why? Because of your faith. The world will tremble. The mountains will shake. The trees will be uprooted. By your faith. Your house changes because of the faith. The family, you have the sacraments. You are not together. You have strife, you have wars. You have problems at your home. Problems with your, with your children. Problems with your clan. P problems everywhere but because of faith you have that faith it will settle your family faith will, will, will settle your home you have a problem at work it's some sort of faith that works actually when you read the bible in the book of uh, mark chapter 9 verse uh, chapter 9 verse 23 mark 9 23 it says it is impossible if you believe, hallelujah, it is possible if you believe, it is possible, if you believe, it is possible. This woman was sick. He was sick. He was bound by demons for a long period of time. You see? And just told her, by your faith, it is possible. If you don't have faith, then it is impossible. But if you have faith, it is possible. It is a faith that builds for your house and you sleep in it. It is a faith that gives you a job. It is a faith that lifts up your standard from the lower level to the higher level. It is a faith that makes you. By the way, faith is hindered by three, by, by three things. But I'm going to speak about two. Faith is hindered by something we call about seeing. You can, if you put seeing into action, then faith is lowered. Faith should not be limited by seeing. For example, you might have a, a very big wound on your leg, and whenever you look at the, the, deep, the, 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 deep, the, the, the depth of the hole in your leg, the deep cut on your body, on your flesh, and whenever you look at it, you see, you fear, you tremble, you are scared, you don't have faith that the Lord can heal. My God, you don't believe when you look at the tumor, the tumor is here, the tumor is here, and you look at that tumor, you see, the eyes scare you, the eyes scare you, the eyes drops your faith down, it lo the eyes lowers the faith, if you want to be a woman and a man of faith, you should put the eyes aside. Say that you can uplift your faith inside. Faith is the supernatural power inside, which accelerated the working force of the Lord 
in our lives to give to give us testimonies, miracles, and wonders happen in our lives. For example, when you look at how 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 your husband abuses you every day, the husband beats you every day. You don't have to, it lowers your faith. Why? The, the, is a, your husband is a drunkard. He's, the husband is addicted to drugs. The husband is addicted to witchcraft. The husband he has a stony heart, a hard heart, cannot change. Every day when he comes, he beats you, slaps you, he quarrels this and there. He comes up to hand it, he talks this and that. You are scared. You fear because you don't have faith. You lack faith, oh my Lord. But if you have faith inside you, my God, faith is not limited by sin. Faith is beyond sin. The supernatural power inside you can command the situation that is in your home. It can change the spirit in your husband. It can crush, by the way, faith. It is a hammer that crushes the hard hearts. Faith is a, a, a hammer. It is a, a hole which digs that hardy heart, that stony heart, out of her husband to go where he wanted to be. By the way, faith is a power of establishment. You declare, I will not leave this home, not leave this church, not leave this workplace. My God, oh, by faith, everything is possible. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Mark chapter, uh, Mark 9, Mark chapter 9, verse 23, if you believe it is possible, my God, you are watching over the TV. You are, you are watching over your laptop. Watching over your phone. You are watching anywhere. You, 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 are, you are listening to this message. If you have faith, everything is possible to you. I pray in Jesus' name that may the Lord accelerate your faith. May the Lord accelerate your faith. Because it is faith that works miracles in our lives. Hallelujah. When you are on your bed, you just think about your situation. It is hard. It is tough. You are, you, are, you are crushed. You are frustrated. You are compressed. You are left. You are bound. But when you have faith, faith breaks every chain. Hallelujah. When he was in the, in the prison, he scored Peter in the book of Acts chapter 16. He was in the prison. For him, he was in the prison, but he was praising. He was worshiping. What brought the angels to break the prison was faith. Oh, hallelujah. He was in prison, but he changed the prison into a place of worship, into a place of praise, into a place of accelerating the faith. Hallelujah. It's into a place of pulling the heavens into action by the faith. Hallelujah. Your situation calls for faith. Your situation calls for the supernatural power. Your situation calls for miracles. Your situation calls for your testimony. Hallelujah. If you have faith today, your AIDS is a testimony. Your sickness is a testimony. Your pain is a sick testimony. Your loneliness is a testimony. I'm speaking to you in just name. Your situation, your life, your everything will change in just name. You can be a minister, but when you feel the church is not moving, you can be a minister. When you look at the church, people are not turning up the way you like them. The church is not being built. Life is becoming hard in your ministry. Some pastors have left the churches. Some evangelists, they're not moving forward. Oh my God. They are waiting for, 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 for to settle financially, to go to minister. But I speak to you today. If you're an evangelist, may you wake up. May you start. May you go. The Lord will bless you wherever you're going. You are a pastor of the, you are pastor of the Lord. Have faith. Have faith. Jesus had faith. No matter the situation, people left him. He was alone. He had no helper. He had no lawyer. But he had the faith in his God. The Lord who promised he will make it. When you look at Paul, Paul saying, Oh my God, I can do all with Christ who gives me power. You have Christ who gives you the power. There is no need for you to fear. No need for you to cry. No need for you to worry. No need for you to be scared. If you have Christ, everything is possible. It's you to accelerate your faith. Hallelujah. We have faith, my God, which breaks every stone, every hurdle. Iron, brush, they are broken by faith in Jesus' mighty name. I command today in Jesus' name, whatever spirit has been disowning your life, the spirit which is, there's some spirit which uses women at night, 
the Spirit uses you tonight. Hallelujah. But you have faith and pray to the Lord. The Bible says that when you have faith, when you pray, pray with faith. Because a person who prays when it is doubting, who will not get anything. The book of James chapter 1, he says, when you pray for wisdom, believe that you, to what you have prayed for has been given. But when you pray and you are doubting, you will not get anything from the Lord. When you pray that you need wisdom, pray with faith. When you pray, oh my Lord, you will need something for the Lord. Have faith. The Spirit is using you. It appears in your house. It appears in your door. That Spirit knocks. The Spirit appears in the night. You are sleeping. It uses you as a husband. It uses you as a wife. But when you pray with faith, the Bible says, I can do all things in Christ who gives me power. Hallelujah. And remember one thing. You are a, a fire. You are fire. In Jesus' name. Holy Muriro Gocha. You yourself, you are fire. Inside you is fire. On the head there is fire. The Bible says in the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 17, that you are fire. You are fire. You yourself, you are fire. Oh my God. No demon can extend near you. No spirit can cut near you if you have faith in Jesus' in mighty name. Hallelujah. I've seen when I was, I was in a certain church, I was welcoming to preach, to minister. And this woman was lame. It was faith. I accelerated in my life to command this lame woman to walk in Jesus' name. And there is a certain, uh, there is certain uh, uh, again, another, another woman who I was welcome. And this woman was blind. And I was welcome to pray for this blind woman. It was faith. I accelerated, hallelujah, in my life. I accelerated the faith that you woman, you can see. You woman, you can open your eyes. And even in this woman, the faith was accelerated. Automatically, one in my spirit, oh my God, Aligned together with the, the spirit of this woman. When the faith, my faith was accelerated. And the faith of this woman was accelerated. Actually, this power of acceleration. The working electromotive force in action. Opened the eyes of the blind woman. Hallelujah. Even your situation is the same. If you have faith today, your situation, I promise you, will change in just name. There's a certain, a certain, a, a certain woman. A, a certain woman is in the Bible. This woman had faith in the Lord. This woman had faith in the Father. Oh my God. This woman was, is, was so challenging. This woman was so challenging. And this woman was, didn't do anything. But Jesus, when he came in the book of John chapter 11. Oh my God. Jesus spoke to this woman and told the woman, Where is the Lazarus? And then the woman, because of the faith, was saying, But the Lazarus is dead. And Lazarus cannot resurrect. Because he, he has been four days in the grave. You see, the faith of the woman. Faith of nature. Faith of nature. But when you accelerate the faith, a miracle will happen. Jesus spoke to this woman. And did I tell you that if you have faith, you will see mighty things. I want to tell you today, if you have faith, you will see mighty things. There is no need of going to the husband. There is no need of going to the shrine. There is no need of going to the doctor. There is no need of going somewhere. But right now, you are listening to this message. And you are looking at me. You are getting my voice. If you accelerate the faith, you will see mighty things. And Jesus spoke to this woman and said, you can to remove the stone. And he commanded, you see, how force of faith makes miracles. He commanded, Lazarus, come out of the grave. What was he using? He was using faith in his father. Because he said, first of all, he said, oh my Lord, I thank you. Because you used to listen to me. And up to now, I know you are listening to me. Lazarus, come out. He had faith in Jesus. He had faith in the Lord. If you have faith in God. Command the situation to come out. Command the situation to change. Oh my God. Today, and if you have faith, speak to a problem which is before you to go away. Hallelujah. Speak to the situation which is in your life to be to approve to be uprooted. Hallelujah. If you don't have faith, those situations will become mountains, will become barriers, will become haddocks, and they will not move away. But I want you to exercise your faith. To command the situations in your life. Hallelujah. You, you may be having a monusia. You may be having TB. You might be having polio. You might not be seeing. But you are looking unto me. You are not seeing. You have blind eyes. Hallelujah. But because of the, 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 the power of faith. The accepted power of faith. Hallelujah. I feel anointing. If you have faith. And you believe the Lord.